the Hermes Gypsier bag is one of the most casual offerings from the Hermes fashion house. The Hermes Gypsier bag has a more utilitarian aesthetic and a more saddle-like silhouette that pays homage to Hermes's equestrian heritage. The Hermes Gypsier bag was first introduced in the 2008 Autumn Collection under creative director Jean-Paul Goussier. It is said that Jean-Paul Goussier felt inspired to create a casual, traditional bag with a twist that complemented the nature, hunting and fishing motif of the 2008 show. With the name Gypsier said to capture the gypsy-esque spirit of this, the Hermes Gypsier bag is a relaxed and casual bag that still exudes elements of Hermes's elegance and sophistication. The Hermes Gypsier bag is sometimes known as the Birkin Messenger. The Hermes Gypsier bag is a unique shaped hobo style messenger bag that features a slightly rounded bottom and adjustable shoulder straps with an embedded shoulder pad for comfort, allowing you to carry the bag crossbody but over the shoulder. The Hermes Gypsier bag is a unisex bag, a versatile bag designed to be worn by anyone, a great bag for everyday needs. The Hermes Gypsier bag is a classic, minimal, sporty, casual and timeless style that encapsulates all the Hermes hallmarks, designed for fashionistas seeking a more functional alternative to the more glamorous Hermes bags. The Hermes Gypsier bag is the perfect chic messenger style bag and the perfect travel companion. The Hermes Lindy bag is a breath of fresh air from all the more structured and stiffer Hermes bags. The Hermes Lindy bag is more of a semi-structured and slouchy bag offering with a peculiar shape that embraces the curves of your body. The Hermes Lindy bag was designed under the creative direction of Jean Paul Gutierre and debuted during Hermes's Spring Summer 2007 collection and was designed by Friedrich Vidal, with the name paying homage to the American street dance Lindy Hop, a dance that was created during the swing era, said to be all about freedom of movement. The Hermes Lindy bag is a sporty and casual bag with a fluid aesthetic. The concept of the Hermes Lindy bag was inspired by Frédéric Vidal's desire to create a bag that provides comfort to the wearer when carrying the bag, as he noticed the average handbag forces the wearer to stick out their arms to have the bag stay parallel to their body, and so wanted to create a more flexible solution. Since its debut, the Lindy bag has become a modern classic and has developed an impressive following due to its unique styling and has become a modern Hermes staple, a signifier of Hermes's innovative prowess. The Hermes Lindy bag is a great beginner handbag for those who want to start their Hermes journey with a more accessible style of Hermes bag. The Hermes Lindy bag is a quiet understated bag that fewer people know about. Whilst most Hermes bags are female inspired, the Hermes Picotin lock bag imbues the signature Hermes aesthetic that pays homage to Hermes's equestrian heritage roots. The Hermes Picotin bag was first introduced in 1958. It was then updated and revamped and re-released with the current reimagined Picotin bag released in 2002. In this update, Hermes notably upgraded the picoton style by adding the iconic Hermes H fastener lock and updating the name of the bag to the Hermes Picoton lock bag. The Hermes Picoton lock bag is modelled after a horse's feeding bag. The bag strap is hung on the horse's ear to allow it to eat. The name picotin is actually a reference to the unit of measurement used to measure out a horse's daily ration of oats. The Hermes Picotin lock bag is a functional and easy bag. 
the perfect throw it in bag for everyday errands and the busy on the go lifestyle. The Hermes Picoton lock bag is loved due to its simple, minimalistic nature. It can easily be styled or dressed up or down and can easily be personalized with all sorts of individualized items like the iconic Hermes twillies or specialized keychains and charms. Although introduced more than 20 years ago, the Hermes Picoton lock bag is still a sure choice from Hermes. Its popularity and interest continues to grow year after year. The youthful look of the Hermes Picoton lock bag makes it an evergreen bag that transcends fashion trends. Despite the Hermes Picoton lock bag's unique style, it still encapsulates all quintessential Hermes markers, from the Hermes quality to the impeccable craftsmanship. The lower price point of the Hermes Picoton lock bag makes it another fabulous entry-level bag to consider. A very stylish bag that is practical and useful for a variety of social settings from shopping to a beach bag. Debuted in 1964, the Hermes Garden Party Bag is a simple tote bag with a classic silhouette. A understated minimalist bag with no obvious logos or visible branding indicating that the bag is crafted by Hermes. The Hermes Garden Party Bag is perfect for those who prefer to stay away from ostentatious displays that scream designer bag. The Hermes Garden Party Bag is great for personalization and accessorizing with Hermes's colorful charms and twillies, which can easily be attached to the luxurious tote to make your garden party bag look a bit more special. Whether you're looking for a functional office bag or a casual shopper tote, you will have a lot of options to choose from in the Hermes Garden Party Bag style. The Hermes Evelyn Bag is one of Hermes's most popular crossbody style bags. With a saddle-like silhouette, it was originally designed by Evelyn Bertrand in 1978, who was the head of Hermes's riding department. Evelyn and her team developed a new design for a bag that would be convenient and a hands-free method for horse groomers to carry their equestrian tools. Evelyn settled on a design for a crossbody bag that featured one removable, non-adjustable shoulder strap attached to a single leather body with a small belt closure that also has a snap button mechanism in the top place to ensure its contents. The defining feature of the design was the air hole ventilation feature in the style of H-shaped holes designed on one side of the bag, allowing for equestrian tools to dry out whilst in the bag. The shoulder strap is then said to evoke the girth that wraps around the horse's body. The Hermes Evelyn bag was actually designed to be worn with the perforated H side facing the body, but since the bag was moved from stable equipment to a luxury everyday bag, the H is worn facing outwards. The Hermes Evelyn bag was originally relegated to equestrian goods, not intended as an everyday bag and was unnoticed until the early to mid 2000s, when the bag was mysteriously moved to the leather good department and the Hermes Evelyn bag's popularity rose. The Hermes Evelyn bag is a great entry level bag, the perfect accessory for your first purchase when delving into the world of Hermes, an investment piece that will last a lifetime. The Hermes Bolid bag is one of the most revolutionary handbags ever made. The Hermes Bolid bag has stood through almost a hundred years in fashion and is still going strong. The history of the Hermes Bolid bag is linked to Henry Ford, founder of Ford Motors, who showed Emile Maurice Hermes a new technology at one of his factories. This technology was the use of a zipper to fasten a cloth to the rooftop of Ford's convertible cars. Emile Maurice Hermes used this new invention to revolutionize luxury handbags as we know it. Hermes patented the zip closure mechanism in France 
and soon after, Hermes added zippers to the middle of their bag designs. Especially, also in response to a request from his wife, who was friends of Ettore Bugatti. She requested a lady's purse inspired by the curves of the grille of the elegant Bugatti in the mid-1920s, in particular the torpedo model. The resulting bag was originally nicknamed the Bugatti and called Le Sac pour le Urto, meaning the bag for the day, designed for storing your valuables during travel or to be easily placed in the trunk of a car. However, it wasn't until 1923 that a smaller version was debuted in a handbag size and renamed and reintroduced as the Bolide. The Hermes Bolide was Hermes's first bag made with a zipper and the first bag in history with a zip. The word Bolide originally meant meteor or comet and then in the 20th century it was turned into a nickname for a sports or fast car going full speed on the road. The Hermes Bolide bag is a versatile bag suitable for everyday use and travel. The Hermes Bolid bag is still in demand even though it is not as famous as the Birkin or the Kelly and is still a hard Hermes bag to find. The Hermes Bolid bag represents an essential piece of fashion history with the power to make any outfit look exclusive and expensive. The elegant design is the key for fashionistas that are not loud or over the top. This chic and luxury bag is fantastic. In 1967, a Hermes designer under the direction of Robert Dumas Hermes, going by the name of Catherine Chaye, gave birth to her fifth child, a girl by the name of Constance. To honour this momentous event, Catherine decided to name one of her Hermes handbag designs after her child in 1967. When introduced, the Constance bag was an instant hit for the elites and prominent high-powered women in society. The Constance bag was a favourite bag for former First Lady Jackie Kennedy Onassis in the 60s and well sought after by Hermes's famous high-profile clientele. It didn't take long before Hollywood and the rest of the world followed the lead of former First Lady Jackie Kennedy Onassis and the Hermes Constance bag was in such high demand. As a symbol of ultimate class and style and with the high profile endorsement of the Constance bag, this was all that was needed to make it one of the most desired handbag designs in the world, giving it a reputation that it has endured for decades. The Hermes Constance bag holds a certain sophistication that makes it another classic Hermes bag and an evergreen fashion icon. Each design brings qualities that makes the Hermes Constance bag unique and a contemporary piece of design and sculpture. The Hermes Constance bag is a bag that has endured the test of time and will go down in history as one of the most unique models in the archives of iconic Hermes bags. The Hermes Constance bag is an innovative design that is remarkably modern even to this day. With sleek minimalist lines, the Hermes Constance bag holds its ground with a quiet elegance, modern yet classic, functional and versatile, chic and effortless. The Hermes Constance bag is a great investment. It's just the sort of bag you can envision a mother passing down to her daughter. Hermes Birkin bags are amongst the most desired items in the luxury fashion industry. A lot of time and skill goes into creating this iconic bag. The Hermes Birkin bag was not actually a runway success initially, and it took till the late 1990s, early 2000s to gain its reputation as a symbol of status and wealth. The Hermes Birkin bag is inspired and named after a cultural icon, singer, actress and model, Jane Birkin. An English actress based in France during the majority of her career. The Hermes Birkin bag came into existence following an exchange between Jane Birkin and former Hermes chief executive Jean-Louis Dumas, 
who met by chance on a flight from Paris to London in the early 80s. As Jane was placing her travelling bag in the overhead compartment, the contents of her bag fell out, leaving her scrambling to find all her items. Jane explained to Dumas it was hard to find a leather weekend bag that she liked. Dumas suggested she needed one with pockets, and this sparked a conversation about her ideal bag. Dumas immediately pulled out a pencil and an airplane sick bag, and the two designed a sketch for the Hermes Birkin bag. Shortly after, Dumas crafted and gifted her the finishing bag in return for her lending her name to the design, and thus the Birkin bag was christened. Hermes officially debuted the now iconic Birkin bag in 1984. The Hermes Birkin bag is the ultimate status symbol of wealth. The exclusiveness of the Hermes Birkin bag is steeped in celebrated history, heritage, tradition and craftsmanship. The Hermes Kelly bag is one of the most valuable, sought after and coveted luxury bags of all time. The Hermes Kelly bag comes with a storied history and took about 50 years before it was officially named the Kelly. The Hermes Kelly bag evolved from a bag produced by Hermes in 1892, known as the Hout à Courroie, designed and manufactured for French nobility to hold essential equestrian gear. The signature flap secured over the single rolled handles, leather sangles, metal plaque and tourette were all part of this original design. The Hout à Courroie was known for its high leather belt and high top handles. In 1928, the Hout à Courroie was reimagined and adapted into a smaller, compact handbag called the Sac de Peches. The Kelly bag was originally called the Sac de Peches, which translates to dispatch bag and was used by prominent elites when updated and reintroduced in 1935. Shortly after, it was catapulted to wealth status by fashion icon, American-born actress turned Monaco princess, Grace Kelly. The princess embodied innate elegance and oozed pure class in the 70s. Alfred Hitchcock, the famous director, also shares credit in the success of the Hermes Kelly bag, as it was he who allowed his head costume designer to purchase Hermes items for his film To Catch a Thief, which starred Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly carried the bag everywhere, and on one occasion in 1956, she was photographed innovatively using the gorgeous accessory as a camouflage to hide her growing pregnancy from paparazzi. It was the public who actually named the Sacre de Peches the Kelly Bag, and it was eventually renamed to the Kelly in 1977. For almost a century, the Hermes Kelly Bag has been an icon transcending fashion as a keepsake and heirloom. The Hermes Hout à Courroie Bag, also known as the Hack Bag, is the firstborn bag of the Hermes Fashion House. Conceived way before the rise of automobiles and the taste for fashion at the beginning of the 20th century. The Hermes Hutakurua bag was created in 1892 by Emile Maurice Hermes after his trip to South America with the design of the hack bag inspired by totes with a trapezoidal shape that were used by Argentinian cowboys for their horse saddles. The creation of the Hermes hack bag started a shift which would become more apparent in subsequent years as Hermes expanded into leather goods. The original and practical use of the Hout à Courroie bag was to give horsemen a sophisticated and elegant way to transport equestrian equipment as the Hout à Courroie bag was used to protect the saddles and horseback riding boots of royals and nobility in Europe at the time. With the arrival of the car the Hermes hack bag was then reintroduced as a travel bag. The name Hout à Courroie means high belt or straps in French, a way to describe the appearance of the bag. The Hermes Hout à Courroie bag, in turn, has since been used as an inspiration for many subsequent Hermes bags, 
including the Sacca de Peches, later renamed the Hermes Kelly bag and the Hermes Birkin bag. The Hermes Hack bag is fully functional and combines a practicality with sophistication and elegance. Mainly suited for long distance travel, weekend getaways, it is also preferred by male customers. The Hermes Hack bag is a unicorn bag another Hermes bag of limited supply and high demand, like the iconic Hermes Birkin and the Hermes Kelly bag. The Hermes Hack bag is one of the most iconic bags in Hermes's archive of iconic bags. A Hermes cornerstone bag that has been around for more than a century, flaunted as a stylish unisex travel bag. 